cannot believe I'm actually going through with this. <laughs> PG. People honestly want me, cartoons, the edge of total overviews and troll it to be PG. This is the funniest shit I've heard this morning. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video, hasn't it? Yeah. Kind of just been sitting on my ass, kind of just relaxing. Enjoying the day, enjoying what life brings to me getting... By this time, the video, uh, this video will probably be out after BronyCon, so... For all of you that showed up during Out of the Edge, thank you very much. But now... <laughs> would you believe me if I told you that I've gotten complaints from people that don't exactly like my content? That think that I, cartoons, need to be PG. I've gotten complaints of people that want me to be less lewd, less inappropriate, and less rated R. There are some that dare say that I'm that I'm too edgy for their kids to watch. Well, this is news to me. Well, last I checked, these edgy little kiddos are the ones that are going online playing Minecraft and playing Call of Duty anyway. So it doesn't really matter what your little kids have to say. Oh, you precious religious and soccer moms. I don't care. I do things my way. Toon has his own thing. He understands that kiddos and kidettes like to watch his stuff. I don't give a fuck. I do what I want because that's what people expect from me. That I do what I want. And I decided that because I've gotten all the complaints that I'm not PG, I'm gonna do something PG for all of you to, to appease that crowd. And I'm gonna do it my way because I know how to do this best. If you, if you would like, if you would like for me to do what I do best, then very well. I shall grant you that wish. I am going to read your kids a bedtime story. Now, what kind of bed story do you think it's gonna be? Well, obviously, if you click the title of this video, you should know. I mean, you're not stupid. Boom. Go the fuck to sleep. A legendary tale, at one point narrated by the great man himself, Samuel L. Jackson. Now, to be narrated by an even greater man, cartoons. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this, shall we? Go the fuck to sleep. The number one New York Times bestseller by Adam Mansbach. Illustrated by Ricardo Cortez. Let's actually get this started. For Vivian, without whom none of this would be possible. Well, thank you very much, Vivian, for giving inspiration to this book. Let's actually get this started, shall we? <coughs> <clears throat> Here we go. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have lain down with a sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please, go the fuck to sleep. Oh, boy, that's just the first page. Oh, such obscenities. How dare cartoons make these such heinous remarks. Bite me. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book. If you swear, you'll go the fuck to sleep. I gotta say, look at the illustration on this. Like, this is really good. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's impressive. And how you ask, can I read so well with these glasses? Because I am just that damn good. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl run and creep. I know you're not thirsty, that's bullshit, stop lying, lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hum, the field mice, they make not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already, Jesus Christ, what the fuck, go to sleep. See, by a few pages in, if your kid does not get it at this point, your kid has some problems. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland, and the froggy has made his last sleep. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom! You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. See, kids should understand that by that point. If you gotta yell at them at this point, I think they'll get it through their head. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big, snuggly heap. 
how come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? See, this, this book right here is asking them serious questions, and I appreciate that because most children's literature does not expose the great questions that we are looking forward to in this day and age. The seeds slumber beneath the earth now, and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. You can count how many times this book says the F word. Props. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheap. Fuck your stuff, bear. I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes, cut the crap, sleep. Well, I mean, some kids kind of need that. Need their plushies to sleep with. It's a sleeping aid. I totally get that. The flowers doze low on the meadows and high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty-ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please, and sleep. I feel like I would be a great parent. Don't ask me how, but it's just it's one of those, it's one of those gut feelings. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing as I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares? You're not gonna sleep. See? There we go. Is this what I'm talking about here? How kids use emotional manipulation to get what they want. Those damn dirty kids. Why am I reading for most of you? You you don't even care. The room is all I can remember. The furniture crappy and cheap. You win, you escape, you run down the hall as I nod the fuck off and sleep. Well, that's unfortunate. Bleary and dazed, I awaken to find your eyes shut, so I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. Spoiler alert! Kid's not asleep. We're finally watching our movie. Popcorn's in the movie. Beep! Oh shit, God damn it! you gotta be kidding. Come on, go the fuck back to sleep. The end. And if your kid's not asleep by that point, shame on you. Shame on you for being a shitty ass parent because this book is gold right here. And people say that I don't do reviews anymore. Well, you know what, you're getting to review this book right now. 11 out of 10, six out of five, uh, every gold star known to fucking man that's put on your kids' little sheep doing all the good chores, all of them go right here. This book is a goddamn national treasure, and if I were to put this in a time capsule 50 years later, you're goddamn right people would still read this. You want me to be PG? Here. Hashtag fuck PG. I am cartoons. I am Intertola of reviews and Trolla. You all know me. I am your friendly neighborhood cartoons. Here's a little, little review for you. Hope you all enjoy this. And if you don't, well, that's your own fucking problem and not mine. So, have a nice day.